Hey bitches, welcome back to another Regine Velasquez reaction. Today we will be reacting to her singing If You Go Away, Ne Me Quitte Pas in French, if you know it. It's originally in French, however, I heard the version by Shirley Bassey first, and that is what I fell in love with. It is a very dear song to me. So now Regine is singing it, and I'm very excited for that. As soon as somebody suggested this, I had to write it down, and now I'm getting to it, okay? So before I do get into it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out other content that I make, because I make good content, okay? And let's go. Oh, I can't wait to hear this, y'all. It's so exciting. Show up, Queen, come on. Just show up, I have to see. If you go away on this summer day, then you might as well take the sun away. There is a certain fragility in her voice at this point. She started off very slowly, very, very light, which is why I don't like how the song goes originally, or at least how I know it. It just sound, starts with that speech level. It, it starts building basically from the ground up. <laughs> That's how it goes. It's very emotional. The, the lyrics are so freaking. It's a chef's kiss. It's a chef's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really love this song. She started off well. The other, again, there's a certain fragility in her voice. It could be that she's not comfortable singing down there, or because she is emotional, and because it's not that low, I'm prone to believe that it's emotion taking over. So I'm gonna stick to that for now. We'll hear how the rest of it sounds. Another thing, she looks again absolutely stunning. Her skin, the way her skin looks, is so healthy, so smooth. Her face, again, is so beautiful. She's a beautiful lady. The hair is done right. It's voluminous. It's, it's wave. Oh my god, she looks beautiful. The voice is there. The piano, everything's there. So let's go. The way she held back the power, similarly to the last performance that I heard, it's just, again, it's building, so that's why. And that is a lot of songs, a lot of songs that are good to start off like that, start off easy and then it progresses into more noise, not noise in the bad sense, but like louder, it becomes louder, be progressively becomes bigger and that's why you get goosebumps, you know, that's how the, you know, the compositions work often, you know, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she sounds very pristine. Her voice, the way that almost kind of like a head voice, but not like a very high mix, not high, like very heady mix that she did to, to just slowly ease into that high note was so impeccable. 
I really, really like Regine. I really like her. I, I'm, like, what can I say? What can I say about her that I haven't already? So let's just hear a little bit of this more so that I can then comment. But oh yeah, I wanted to ask. Look at me. I'm just talking. <laughs> <laughs> if I annoy you, I'm sorry, I'm not annoying myself, so that's why I do it. In Philippines, are songs like this and songs that are more vocally challenging and songs that are, you know, older, more classic, are they more listened to than what's modern? Or is it kind of similarly or is one fading away more than the other? Like, just let me know because I need to know. No make it up. El in French too. This composition is interesting. I did not ex okay I did not expect the music the mood to change so drastically to become this more fast beat of the song I did not expect her to go into it so quickly I did not expect her to start modulating that bell to go up so high for some reason I, I don't oh my lord and then 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 her voice is always so open so she doesn't say for example let's use the word say okay or here we go, if you go away. She's not gonna say if you go away, way. She's gonna say way. <laughs> it's just so open. Her mouth is open almost like a smile, but she's not smiling because it's not that kind of song. Everything just becomes so much wider and bigger. She, oh my lord, I really like this. I did not expect it to change in, in this way and especially not this quickly. So what the hell am I gonna listen for the na last minute and a half? Let's see. If you go away, as I know you must, there'll be nothing left in the world to trust. I was just looking for this recording, sorry. Just an empty room. Sounds so sad. I had been the shadow in the dark if I thought it might have kept me by yourself. If you go away, if you go away, if it's the same concert that I reacted to last time, I know that her father has passed away. So it wasn't easy to perform, I can tell you that. Oh honey, baby. This was beautiful, but am I crazy or have these five and a half minutes passed like this? I don't know what just happened, but I feel like it literally passed so quickly, which I don't understand. I mean, I know that the song is slow and when you kind of come to the second chorus, it's pretty much the end. 
with this last part. But I just simply didn't think of that because there was a minute and a half left. And I was thinking, how the hell do you go after that? Because you already kind of hit that, you know, the, the ceiling. And then she didn't, which was good. I was like, maybe it would be too much if she went even higher. So it's good that it ended there but it, because it's more true to the original and it's more appropriate. And that's good. Her emotion was there. Okay. <laughs> it was here and there and there and everywhere. And it was good. I really enjoy this. Did I, for some reason, I don't know why, but there was something that I expected she would do, di not differently, just something else. Maybe because it's not as epic as I'm used to hearing from her, but this is what I asked for. So it's not different in a bad way, it's different in a good way. I'm trying to tell you what the difference, what I'm, I'm trying to explain myself. So it's good in a, in a, it's different in a good way. And I, and I do like that she didn't finish the performance with the high note or with the bell that she usually did because somebody did say, this is what you asked for. And I said, got it. So, <laughs> so that's why I did it. So thank you guys for suggesting this and for being here. I do want to ask, are there singers before her who were also big voices, who were also very well known and are still today, maybe even alive, but who are like 70 today? So are, are there people who sang in the 70s from the Philippines that are also big, who do extreme singing or who are just really known there and who deserve to be seen because I would at least like to check them out for myself because I believe in Filipino talent a lot. Like, I just know that they're going to take me somewhere. They're, they're, I don't know why, but Filipino singers are so damn talented. They could sing so many countries under the table, okay? So that's what we're going to just generally as a whole. I don't care. So yeah, thank you for being here. Let me know what I ask. That's about it. See you in the next video, whatever it is. Okay, be there. Bye.